time? Okay. Good evening. You know, there's a whole bunch of people out there I just met for the first time, and we're so glad that you're here to be part of our Christmas uh, concert and celebration and worship time. Every year we do something. This year it's called Brand New Hallelujah. And you know, it's always, uh, if, you, if you know and love Jesus, there's always something new to say hallelujah about. Uh, someone told me there's only three words uh, that are known in every language around the world by people all over the world. One is amen. The second one is hallelujah. And the third one is Coca-Cola. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but we are glad you're here. I'm going to lead us in prayer and uh, turn this over to our musical department, uh, which I am not part of, and you'll be glad about that, okay? But I'm going to sing in my heart, and I hope you will too. Would you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can say hallelujah because you have come. And amen, because our lives are different. And Lord, uh, we pray tonight that you would just uh, speak into our hearts, be with every person that's here, from the one that has uh, been here from birth to the one who has been is here for the first time. Let us feel comfortable and just let you wash your truth and your love over us through music tonight. We commit this to you, we pray in Christ's name. Amen.
Come and worship Christ, the King. The very essence of Christmas is found and captured in this simple yet profound invitation. Think about it. The image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, he became flesh and blood and left heaven to come to us. That same Jesus calls us even now to come to him. This king of kings, this baby, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He is the reason we come. He alone is worthy of our worship. Go tell it on the mountain The one that we've been waiting for The king of our salvation Born on this day our savior Christ the Lord Go tell it on the
Down through the centuries, the songs of the season have become an essential part of our celebration. Timeless refrains handed down from generation to generation continue to warm our hearts as each December we come once again to the season. But the songs of Christmas didn't begin with the carols we hold so familiar. Mary, upon hearing the words from Elizabeth, sang, My soul doth magnify the Lord. Scripture also tells us on the night Christ was born, an angel appeared to some shepherds, followed by a great host of angels singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to those on whom his favor rests.
Although more than 2,000 years have passed since the anthem of praise first resounded over the Judean hillside, the song has only begun. For every seeker who comes to know the Savior, a new voice is added, a new chorus lifted. It's the song of a soul set free that cannot and will not be silenced. It is a brand new hallelujah. While the city slept, a baby cried. Shepherds were rejoicing in the glorious light. A stable bed on sacred ground. A holy sanctuary filled with heavenly sounds. A praise of never-ending worship. If you stop and listen, you can hear it. Hear it's a new, it's a brand new holiday. Worship rise in you. It's a new, it's a brand new
And the Word became the flesh and dwelt among us. And we saw His glory. Glory is of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth.
the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as of the only begotten from the Father, full of grace and truth.
And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
For unto us a child is born, and he has come that we might know him in all of his glory. No matter where you've been or how long the journey has been, he is longing, calling, reaching out for you. In your disappointment, he is a comforter and a redeemer to the broken. And to those who walk in darkness, he is the light of the world. If you're ready to experience the true joy of the season, the reason he came, he's ready to show you the way. Wandering and wandering, which way to go? Crossing the desert within my soul. Seeking direction, seeking what's right. Looking for angel songs in the night. Where will this lead me?
Wow. That's the only word that comes to my mind. Wow. Can you say it with me? Wow. Turn around, say it backwards. Come on. Wow. That was awesome. That really was. Praise the Lord. That was great. You know, we're so thankful to have some ta so many talented people in our church, and we're so thankful to have some great leaders of them. Joan St. Jock has been our music director for our choir, now our bell choir, for a thousand years now, I think. <laughs> and, um, and she does a great job, doesn't she? Let's just give her a hand. Thank you, Joan. And then everyone else, you know, you look at the bulletin, this can't happen without a lot of people plugging in and, and giving their all, giving their best, uh, from technical to uh, actors, and, and of course all of our singers, our children's choir, Brandy Klein leads our children's choir, they do a great job, and uh, we're just uh, very blessed, and I, I, I was blessed tonight, were you? Wow, I mean, wow, I can't, that's all I can say. Um, uh, just a couple things before I'm going to close with a few thoughts, but not a lot. I'll, I'll save my sermon for tomorrow, okay? If you want to hear it, just come back here, okay? But um, tonight when we dismiss, please stay and over on, as you go out to your left, there's going to be refreshments and uh, snacks. We'd like you to stay and enjoy that time. Uh, you're our guests tonight. And we're so glad you came. And if you're waiting for someone in the choir, they'll be out to see you soon enough. And uh, so do that. A couple things coming up that we'd love to invite you to participate in. And uh, next Saturday, uh, in the evening like this, at 6 o'clock, we're going to, instead of singing chorally in the church, we're going to go out and sing in the community and do and just a Christmas carol, go from neighborhood from house to house and sing carols. We do that every year. It's a great thing, too. It's different than this. Uh, it's participatory. They even let me sing, so you could come and sing, too. And, uh, and you'll love that. That's next Saturday. And then, on, of course, Christmas Eve is on a Sunday this year. So come, go to your church Sunday morning. Go to this church if you don't have a church. Come Sunday night for Christmas Eve, we have a candlelight service. It's a great way to uh, celebrate the birthday of Jesus, and we do that in the evening as well at uh, 7 o'clock, is it 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock uh, this Sunday, uh, Christmas Eve, Sunday, 6 o'clock. So I just want to invite you to those, remind you about all of those, and uh, and we're going to close in a minute. You know, one of the favorite sayings on Christmas cards uh, is every year you see it, peace on earth, goodwill to men, right? Of course, I hope you know that comes from the Bible. Uh, it's uh, the King James Version in Luke 2.14. But it reads a little bit differently in the Bible. It says, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, goodwill toward men on whom his favor rests. Now, that's a little bit different, isn't it? Not just the words, but the meaning. And uh, for most, you know, those words at Christmas, I think for most people that, that get a card like that, it's something like a wish for people to uh, put aside their conflicts and disagreements and, well, just to be nice to each other, at least temporarily. Or, or perhaps on a more grandiose scale, it's a wish, a desire for the world to be at peace. Peace on earth is a good thing. Lord knows we need it, don't we? Uh, the, the world we live in, the conflicts, the wars. It should be something that we strive for, and Christians should help to, to mediate and uh, be peacekeepers. But the Bible's version of peace, Luke's version of peace on earth, goodwill to men, really isn't about that. It's important. I'm all for world peace. You know, I'm not even in a beauty contest. I think that's a good thing. But that's not what this is about. It's about something actually even more important and even bigger than that. The angels were uncomfortably specific when they, when they shouted those words. They said, peace to men 
on whom God's favor dwells. And the reason why the angels said it that way is because they have in mind a peace, not with men, a man, not peace in our hearts, that's all good stuff, but peace with God. That's what Jesus Christ came to bring, peace with God. Every year we come to Christmas and we reflect on the birth of Jesus. We need to do that. But you know, don't leave Jesus in the manger. Uh, that's not why he came. Uh, he started there. But you realize that Jesus was God coming down to earth, as we sang about tonight, and he came for a specific reason. He came to redeem us. He came to give us new life. He came to bring us peace between us and God. He wants us to be at peace with God. Now, some people might say, well, I don't have any problem with God. We're, we're at peace and, um, and, and leave it at that. But let me ask you this, if you think along those lines. Uh, can you really say that someday when you get before a God that is so glorious and so majestic, the Bible says his glory fills the temple and, and people can't even look at him, he's so holy that no one can approach him, do you think that you can approach him on your own and be worthy of that? The answer is you cannot. And that's why Jesus Christ came. He came to be the mediator between God and man. He came to, to make it, to, to settle the, the problem that we have with a holy, 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 a loving but holy God. And he came to do that by coming to the cross and paying for our sins. Uh, and and that scripture is all about that. And our Bibles are all about that. Uh, and we need to realize that in Colossians 1.20, it says, through Christ, he came to reconcile to himself all things, whether kings or, in, I'm sorry, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by what? By making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Jesus Christ came to give us peace, peace with God. If you don't have that peace with God, I just urge you, don't, don't let another Christmas go by without finding that peace with God. Someday, we will stand before that holy, awesome, perfect God, which no one can approach with any sin. You don't want to be there without the redeeming love of Christ, having, having cleansed your soul first. Then we'll, we'll enjoy that. It'll be the greatest thing that we'll, we'll ever experience. And I hope you'll experience that. And if you haven't experienced it yet, our prayer is that you will experience it now. You never know what tomorrow's gonna bring. You never know what next year's gonna bring. But Christ is open to you now. Find him. Go to church. Go to a church that preaches the Bible. Learn more about him. Grow in him. Let him be a, a real part of your life. Not just for a day or two each year, but every day of, of your life. Amen? Amen? Let's pray and we're going to be dismissed. Thank you again, choir, and all those who made this night possible. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you came to bring us into real, lasting peace. Peace bigger than we, we can find on earth. Uh, and Lord, a peace with you that will uh, bring us into eternity uh, to enjoy that forever. Thank you for this time tonight, the words, the message, the music, the heart, uh, and the, the, your spirit, Lord, just speaking through it to us to remind us of the reality of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Unto you this day is born in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. We just bless him tonight and we praise you for him. Go with these dear people as we leave tonight. For we ask this in Jesus' name and all God's people said together, let's say it, amen. amen. And I guess we should say hallelujah. hallelujah. 
and not Coca-Cola. You're dismissed. <laughs>